You guys, Hartzell just emailed me this alert service bulletin regarding the Whirlwind propeller. We're gonna get into all the data. I'm gonna intro kind of what's been going on if you're new here. I'm gonna get into my remedy, a Kato prop, and the things that I just love about it so far. And then we're gonna get into the nitty gritty of this. And then the, it leaves a couple questions. I'll get into those at the very end. And, and I'm waiting on that response from uh, Hartzell. So I'll just ask you now, subscribe if you wanna, um, maintain awareness on this issue. Okay, this is a Rans S21 Continental Titan IO340 engine. It ships with currently with a Whirlwind propeller. Looks like this. This propeller is awesome aerodynamically. The, the blades are really, really good. The hub is what's the what the problem is. I was doing an inspection multiple times and found corner bolts sheared off of this hub. This is the problematic hub. It's a GA200L from Whirlwind and Hartzell just bought Whirlwind. So they're picking up the pieces. Moreover, there's been cracks in the hub. Okay, there, I've got another video. I'll talk about that. Uh, Rand's put out an operational alert. I'll link that video. Other thing I noticed in this operational alert that's happening, they've had re reports of torque loss in the aft mounting bolts on affected propellers. Scary, scary stuff. I am so happy to have a way forward that I can confidently fly into the backcountry again. But we're not done yet. We're testing a new design from Cato Propellers or he's about to refine an existing design. That's a better way to say it. This is a 78 inch prop I've got on right now. I've got an 84. We're gonna to talk to some of the things I just love about it. So let's get into it. First off, it's an American company. It's a small business, it's family owned. Customer support is just fantastic. One of the daughters that works for the company is a PhD from Cal Poly and they put their props in the wind tunnel and they CFD, the, the, so the, anyway, the performance is great. Next thing is blade alignment it is so easy on this. Let me set the stage. First off on the whirlwind propeller hub, you don't see anything to align it. That's why you're doing it by hand. Okay, you take a tool, you zero out your digital level on the front of the hub and you come back here and you rotate it by hand, you get it kind of close, you torque bolts down and then it's off. What Kato does is they make it super easy and then they have this alignment pin that they have a block and then you put shims in right here and then it automatically seats the propellers to the exact right pitch. So for every 10,000th shim you put in, it changes the static RPM 60 RPM. So can you imagine pitching the whirlwind by hand? You know, I could never get it exactly, you know, perfect. I could get it within about 0.2 of a degree, but if it's not perfectly aerodynamically balanced, maybe that's contributing to some of the bolt shearing and cracking. I don't know, that's purely conjecture, but it's it's a hypothesis. You don't deal with that with the, the Kato propeller. And it's, it sounds like I'm sponsored, I apologize. I am not, I'm not affiliated. They're just, again, a great company. Okay, next thing I like about this is it just looks cool. Look at that non-planar tip. It, uh, it's essentially a winglet, right? It breaks up the wingtip vortice of, of this traveling air, airflow really rapidly through the air for two reasons, it increases efficiency and it um, breaks up the, the sound. So it's a little bit of a quieter propeller for you. Okay, if you'll notice over here, the root of the prop is kind of a standard propeller. That's just like the whirlwind, kind of a more traditional design. Well, Craig Cato was doing some work with some Cub guys in Alaska saying, hey, they couldn't get their engine cooling uh, under control. So he had this idea of adding this cooling mod right here which continues you know, the, the high pressure back of the prop right into the, the engine intake. And he was seeing, or folks in Alaska were seeing CHT decreases of up to 40 degrees. So I haven't tried it yet. This is the prop that has it. And if I didn't stress it enough, we're gonna take this data and Craig's gonna design a whole new propeller just for the Rans S21. And he said it should be available in June or July timeframe. I believe Nicole is taking orders now. Other thing, the spinner backing plate, so the one Rans ships with this firewall forward kit is carbon fiber, and I'm not super happy of that being wedged between something under compression. What Cato does is they ship you a an aluminum spinning back uh, spinner backing plate. The other feature with this is the blades out of the factory are balanced from Cato horizontally, but they also balance them vertically, you know, forward of the center cord and then after the center cord. And if they're off at all, there's um, a an ability to put a counterweight in there. So you've got a perfectly balanced propeller. So when Craig is here, we're gonna dynamically balance it across the field at my uh, Bonanza maintenance guys and ensure that we've got a perfectly balanced prop. But look how beautiful this spinner is. They just, they put a uh, hexagonal 
carbon fiber weave, as well as they've got not only the spinner backplate, but they do have a bulkhead. The Rans one does not have a bulkhead uh, right in the middle there. If you haven't seen my performance video, I took the Whirlwind propeller before I took it off because I put in on 29 inch Alaska Bush wheels um, before and after. So I've, I have a data set with 850s and 29s comparing each other on the Whirlwind. Because going forward, we're just going to leave the 29s on and then get all the performance data uh, from Kato. Okay, enough on that. Let's get into what you guys are here about the Alert Service Bulletin. So I talked about the reasons that's listed here. And let me just address, it's not an airworthiness directive. You don't have to do this because it's experimental, but I would recommend it. There's enough people that have uh, had this issue happen. Initial inspection before further flight, i.e. right now. Examine the hub on the affected propellers in accordance with the hub inspection procedure in this document. Spinner back plate inspection. I will leave a link to this PDF in the description. So if I'm just glossing over something you wanna get into the nitty gritty, clearly go and download it. There's recurrent hardware replacement. So after every eight torque up events on the hub clamping mount bolts, replace all the washers in accordance with the section. And then there's a washer replacement section. Recurring intervals of 200 flight hours or 24 months, whichever occurs first, replace the hub mounting hardware on the affected propeller in accordance with the section. There are some diagrams in here. So that's just the, what, what they recommend. Here's actually how to do it. So the, the accomplishment instructions start on page six. And look at that, the date is today, April 7th of 2025. So it's literally as hot off the press. I won't go through um, everything here, but I will mention Paint is not permitted on the hub slash engine mounting surfaces of the spinner backing plate. That paint will absolutely liquefy um, between the surfaces. So um, ensure that, uh, that you've got no paint there. Here's a diagram of, of the margin around the uh, prop extension that needs to be clear of paint and some instructions on how to do that. So a lot more data in here, but I just want to give you guys the heads up that this exists. But again, it leaves a few questions for me from Hartzell. So first off, what Hartzell told me is they said, examination of your bolts confirmed failure was fatigued due to improper strength of the bolt used. And we are currently waiting on the hub unit lab results. I'll keep you posted on the results and I'll keep you posted. So I immediately replied with a few questions that I had. Any word on whether Hartzell will provide owners with a new hub or hardware or take returns via RANS? Also curious for folks who don't have any cracking shearing damage yet. So, you know, I could see if I was a new builder and I got this beautiful whirlwind Hartzell propeller in my box waiting to install and then I'm seeing these kinds of videos, I'd be a little bit uh, leery also and be potentially asking RANS if hey, maybe I can just get some return money on it, knowing all these issues. So um, I'm waiting to hear back. And of course, that's gonna be a conversation with Rands and Hartzell. Guys, thanks for your interest on this. It's near and dear to my heart because I fly with this propeller nearly every day, as well as I'm a safety guy, say safe, formal safety training in the Air Force, as well as in the airlines. So I appreciate the, uh, the involvement and I promise to keep you as up to date as quickly as possible. All right, that's it for now. It's Steve, you're clear direct.